Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Talking a little bit about some of the changes to, I guess from what I play primarily, which is Melee Magblade. So unfortunately, we really didn't get a lot of changes to the Nightblade class. One of the best changes that would make a Nightblade feel more fluid and make it much more easier to secure kills would be, of course, the removal of cast times. The addition of cast times onto the Nightblade class have made it rather a little bit more difficult to secure kills, especially in Cyrodo, where you have both lag as well as FPS drops um, and skill delay, which is the new thing. The other thing is that because of the cast time, it makes it much easier for the ability to be dodged. And of course, it is rather cheap, but it is a huge amount of damage that unfortunately you miss out on. Uh, when of course it is dodged as you do gain the extra 20 percent damage of course um, for the next six seconds when you land the ability um, with the lag of course and of course with the skill delay uh, it makes it of course much harder to hit the combo from a merciless um, you know uh, into a death stroke and especially because of the cast time also on their other abilities like for example grim focus and if you're a Nightblade and maybe you do bombing, um, or like me, I, I also utilize Soul Tether, or maybe you're a Nightblade healer, having a 0.5 cast time on abilities like Soul Siphon make it much harder to for the for you to land these abilities. Consistency, and of course, the most important thing is that it ruins the fluidity of combat, which, which is one of the most, I'd say, important things about ESO, is that because there's no cooldowns on abilities, um, combat is dynamic where the combat seems to flow when there's no lag it flows very fluidly and allows for players to play instinctively and of course that is where skill comes to the fore in ESO's combat but the primary thing that did change uh, for the coming patch is on Veiled Strike and whether you use the uh, the morph of surprise attack or concealed uh, instead of having to be cloaked or invisible or in sneak it now when you're attacking from your beh uh, behind an opponent will subsequently stun your opponent for three seconds i particularly really don't like this change because if you're running if you're running cloak anyway it's not that hard to get behind your opponent to because if you're cloaked surprise attack no matter where you are um, will stun your opponent so what this allows you to do is it allows you to be visible and then of course be able to secure a stun but it kind of defeats the purpose because it, unless you're cloaked or invisible it's a little bit harder to get behind your opponent because a competent player will keep you in front of them and especially if you're fighting something like a mag dk a mag dk typically is going to try to get behind you so for the most part, it really seems kind of like a fairly useless change because it's going to be like mostly advantageous while you're cloaked. And if that's the case, then you just might as well have left the ability as it was because you're still going to get the stun because you're invisible. And that's typically where most mag blades and most stand blades fight from. They fight from stealth. And so to have the ability then uh, stun just because you're behind the person it, for me i typically don't i typically don't like it i really don't find it to be more useful i find it to be probably yes less useful um but in any event what i was really hoping for was for at the very least perhaps the removal of cast times which is probably not going to happen anytime soon but at the very least for magic uh, nightblade at least a change to impale so that impale actually deals damage the skill is so poor it's so weak um, even in CP, I think it's got like a 5k tooltip. Um, so cut in half, it's like 2.5k execute. When the person is at 25%, it's a very it's a very weak execute, not very useful. The passive, of course, is decent because it gives you extra critical, but I really don't find the ability itself um, all that useful. The other thing that I was hoping for that was going to be changed, of course, was um, on abilities like cripple. Uh, having major expedition on cripple was amazing it kind of was kind of your one-stop shop for reducing your enemy's movement speed um rooting them for two seconds i think previously it was 1.5 seconds and then of course reducing their movement speed but at the same time 
giving you access to major expedition so that you can you had access to um, the extra movement speed when of course you were in cloak right because that's basically what you needed when you use that ability you'd basically be able to root your opponent and then of course cloak into a roll dodge and you had the extra movement speed from uh, major expedition as well as the extra movement speed from running uh, concealed weapon and unfortunately we didn't get any of those changes to the nightblade class i know a lot of people feel that nightblade is actually rather weak because there's so many things that that pull you out of the cloak whether it's you know gap closers and aoe's and there's a plethora of aoe's and then lag and buggy cloak unfortunately we didn't get any of those changes so i was kind of disappointed really i'm not, I'm not a whole lot coming to the nightblade class to make it play a bit better hopefully we still have a little bit of time but i'm very doubtful that ESO uh, Zenimax is going to make any substantial changes. Most of the changes that they're made are for like the casual player, and there's really not a lot of PvP balance. If you've taken a look at the patch notes, of course, I'll link them down in the description, and there really isn't a whole lot coming for the Nightblade class, unfortunately. Um, and like I always say, sets should not make the class. The vast majority of what should make the class should be within the actual kit itself, and then um, sets and things of that nature should be, just be able to give you a little bit of spice um, to the class. It shouldn't be what carries the class. A lot of mag blades run around with either like Zons and Colorians, and you know ZMX is typically the ones that are dealing the damage for them. And I really don't like that. Doesn't make the class any more viable when literally the developer is dealing the damage for you. Uh, the class should be able to function on its own and not have these external sources. Or, or the developers themselves interjecting themselves into the game to basically deal damage for you um, instead of you, the player, skillfully being able to damage to deal damage yourself. With that said, we'll have to wait and see. But I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments down below. And of course, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if this is your first time here so that you don't miss out on future content. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless.